find the equation of all points x, y such that the distance between x, y, and 2, 3 equals the distance between x, y, and 6, negative 3. Let's draw a quick picture of what is going on here. Set of axes. Here is the x-axis, and here is the y-axis. Here is the point 2, 3. That point is right here, and let's label it as 2, 3. And then the point 6, negative 3, there's 6, and there is negative 3. Now, for these two points, 2, 3, and 6, negative 3, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find all points x, y that are the same distance between those two points. Let's pick off one point generically that might be the same distance between 2, 3, and 6, negative 3. Now, you could pick, pick the midpoint right there. That'd be a point. But there's a lot of other ones. For example, this point about right here is not on the line that connects the two, but it's the same distance to 2, 3 as it is to 6, negative 3. So let's go ahead and draw that point. It's about right here, maybe. And let's generically refer to that as the point x, y. So to review here, we plotted the point 2, 3. We plotted the point 6, negative 3. And then we came up with a point x, y such that, such that the distance between x, y and 2, 3, that's this distance right here, is equal to the distance between x, y, and 6, negative 3, and that's this distance right here. Now, to use the distance formula, we can write an expression for the distance between 2, 3, and x, y, and that distance will be the square root of x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared. That expression right there is the distance between 2, 3 and this point x, y. Well, we can also write an expression for the distance between x, y and 6, negative 3. Let's write that expression right here. The distance between x, y and 6, negative 3 is going to be x minus 6 squared plus y plus 3 squared. So that expression right there is the distance between x, y and 6, negative 3. And we know that those two distances there are equal, so we connect them with an equality. So that right there is an equation of all points x1, x, y, such that the distance between x, y, and 2, 3 equals the distance between x, y, and 6, negative 3. We should do a little bit of simplification here, and you'll see this gets much simpler than it looks right now. First step would be to square both sides of this equation, and when you do so, you get x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to x minus 6 squared plus y plus 3 squared. Now the next step is to take all four of these and multiply them out. So we will get a long expression here. First one is x squared minus 4x plus 4. The next one is y squared minus 6y plus 9 we get x squared minus 12x plus 36. And finally, y squared, do a little erasing here, plus 6y plus 9. Now, a little bit of good news here. 
you have an x squared, it's right here, on the left-hand side, and you have an x squared on the right-hand side. So if you subtract x squared from both sides, the x squared goes away. You have a y squared on the left-hand side and a y squared on the right-hand side. So if you subtract y squared from both sides of the equation, that goes away. So let's collect terms here now that we've gotten rid of four of them. We have negative 4x minus 6y plus 13. You can see the 4 here and the 9 here got added together to give you 13. Likewise, on the right-hand side, you have negative 12x plus 6y plus 45, and you can see that the 36 and the 9 got added together. Well, we should not leave an x term here and an x term there. Those two need to be combined, and they can be combined by adding 12x to both sides. When you add 12x to the left-hand side, you get 8x. Likewise, the 6y here and the negative 6y here, if we want the uh, y term, and let's say we're trying to put this into general form, let the uh, y term go across by subtracting 6y from both sides. When you do so, you get negative 12y. And finally, if we want to move this 13 over to the right-hand side, we subtract 13 from both sides of the equation. When you subtract 13 from the left-hand side, the 13 goes away. When you subtract 13 from the right-hand side, you get 32. Now notice that all of those terms are divisible by 4, and because of that, you can divide the left-hand side by 4, and when you do so, you get 2x minus 3y, and when you divide the right-hand side by 4, you get 8. And you recognize this equation here as the general form of a line. So it turns out all of the x, y that satisfy the condition originally given in the problem, that is the distance between 2, 3 and x, y, and x, y, and 6, negative 3, fall in a line. You can kind of picture what that line looks like. It will include other points. This point also has the same distance between x, y, and 2, 3, and x, y, and 6, negative 3. So when we combine all of those together, we get a line that looks something like this. And that is actually the line that is the perpendicular bisector of the segment that contains these two. This is it in general form. You could also do a little bit of algebra and place it in point slope form, y equals mx plus b. But this is a perfectly legitimate answer to the question, which is looking for the equation of all points such that the distance from 2, 3 to a point is the same as the distance from 6, negative 3 to a point.